Hello guys, this is Joyce and I am here with Project Share. I am working to get cards finished and completed uh, so that I can send off a box to scrapbook.com. Uh, yeah, been busy. I'm sad because my week is almost over. It'll be time to go back to work soon. And I did got a lot done. I had maintenance guys in changing out the shelves on my in my closets because over the years they've warped in the back, you know, so they kind of lean up and forward. So anyway, I have had that happening and taking care of household chores and trying to stay in as much as possible and doing some crafting. But as I said, my time is almost to an end and it's back to the real world soon. So, this is going to be a share of quite a few cards, and I'm going to show you what I used. I used this, this die, and these are from Lawn Cut Lawn Fawn, and it's called Lawn Cuts Custom Craft Dies. Uh, da, 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 da. I've had them a while, and I use these quite a bit to cut out just the long sentiments. I don't know why my camera is kind of going like this, but we're going to, hopefully the picture is not going to be off. I use uh, Get Well and Smile from this Cuddlebug set. Love these dies. These are Cricut, well it's actually Cuddlebug, and I bought them when they were on, when they clearanced out all of the Cuddlebug stuff, which I just did not understand them doing that. And then I used the Hello from this set, which is also a Cuddlebug set. And like I said, I bought all these when they clearance out that stuff. And it was just great buy because the dies cut really well. And then I used paper from this pad here. This pad is from 2010. I have had it since 2010. And it was a big stack. It was 54 sheets. Not double sided, but I really love the colors. And it's called My Mind's Eye Home. And they had three sheets of 18 different designs. And I pulled it out because I was going to use it for one of my Saturday morning challenge of friends. Actually, the last one. And then I didn't have things to go with it. So I left it out and I decided that I would make cards from it. So those are the things that I made. Oh, used. I also use this stamp which I just love and it just says take delight in the Lord and he shall give you all the desires of your heart. Psalms 37 4. I didn't use the flower but I think the next one next chance I use it I'm going to use that and I got this at Tuesday morning and that number is 2277231 and I've had it maybe a month or six weeks or something. So that did that. And this is the scraps from the papers that I cut. So I am going to be using these on some other cards. So I can use up all the bigger scraps. Because that's a lot of fat material. So I'm going to make cards out of the rest of this. Which will probably be my next show. So the first cards where I used the Cuddlebug dies were these. So there's one for Get Well. All these papers came from that pad. So there's one for Get Well. And all I did, oh, I didn't mat these. I need to stamp these. These were the last ones I did. So I need to put that extra mat inside and stamp on the back. And I am done with them. So then here is another Get Well. Because Get Wells were a card. And this is a top folding. I did pop up the mat here just for some dimension and then there's another get well I like that the pad paper had so many different designs and like I said I have to mat these so I'm not quite finished with these six so then here is another one and it's side opening and it just says smile and then this one just says smile also top folding because I had papers cut everywhere and I was just going with it and then this one is also top and it just says hello I do want to make some more using that hello so that is the first six 
Uh, then I have these where I use, oh, I don't see that die. I put it back. Hold on, let me get you the die, show the die. That's a, a Richard Garay. I think that's who that is. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, it was, I don't even know what happened to that. Oh, here it is on my desk, sorry. Uh, I left it there. Uh, this was a die. I bought it on clearance at Hobby Lobby and I watched it for weeks because they had put it in clearance and they never would mark the prices down. Everything else that would be out there, they would mark the prices down, but this they didn't. And I just kept watching it. Nobody else would buy it. And I just kept watching it. And so it just says, just a note to say, I love you, miss you, hello. And then you've got the envelope, but it also came with two dies. So you cut out the envelope and that hello die. So, yeah, and finally they marked it down and I snatched it up. Because, you know, usually within a few weeks if it don't sell, they'll mark it down. And this they just kept not doing it. So I finally got it and I have used it quite a bit. But here it is. And instead of cutting out the hello, I just stamped it. And then I did mat the insides of these and stamped my stamp on the back. And these are all basically the same. They're just different, almost different. So there are only five of these. I thought there were six. Okay, so there are only five of these, but I really like that. And... So those are done, and I'm just going to have to, like I said, those, I need to leave those so I can finish the insides. And then here are these, and here's where I use that just a note part of the stamp, that stamp, and then I die cut out the hello here. So these are, most of them go up, they flip up, I used them to flip up because this was a little long to put the four point, the four inch side. So that is one. And then they're all the same. Papers are just different. This one opens this way. And all these open that way. And I had already stamped the back with my, uh, oh wait a minute, with my information. And I did it kind of light, but I stamped it this way. <laughs> so then, but that's okay. I'm just quirky that way. And then, uh, there you go. These are all ready to go. So all I have to do is put the envelopes with them. I'm going to stick them in bags and then I'm going to pack up a box with all the cards I have chosen to donate. I love how they turned out. You know, the paper was just perfect for this. You got just a little bit of glitter and glam on it. And then I found some bases that I had done and just where I had just done the bases, card bases. So I found this one and I just stamped that, um, stamp I showed you and then the inside was already matted because I had ever done everything to them I just hadn't put any sentiments on it so then let me raise you up some oops wrong way okay so then I thought that would be really cute so I just stamped it and then I fussy cut it out and popped it up so that's what the inside looks like and then I had these other these were some cards I had made a couple sets for my girlfriend and I just had extra bases left. So I just stamped it on the cream, uh, the ivory paper, fussy cut it out, matted the inside. And uh, then I did three of those. So I had all these bases left over. And I have a lot of bases because sometimes I just do card bases and don't do sentiments. And then as I need them, I will pull them out and use them so but like I said this was some that I had done for a friend of mine she likes this vintage look and it's not dark and you know or stark bright or anything so she likes that and so I just had extra ones left over after I did her cards so then that is that and I got this one it's white so I wasn't white, working with white paper but I think I'm gonna stamp that one more time on white and then just use it also so guys, those are the cards for this batch. I am going to put them together and bag them up. And then I will be back because 
I do have some more things to show you. So guys, um, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'm going to mat these on the inside so they can get ready to go. And I'll be back. See you in the next video. Bye.